Hello and welcome back. This is Bill from Lilac Writer and this time we're going to talk about how to insert silence. There's not a specific feature for insert silence, but uh, using the editing tools we can do that. Now this is going to be a little more comprehensive view on editing than just that because we're going to take a real world example and I've isolated here the Tom tracks or I've brought them to the top of this project and same thing we used in the last two videos where you've got multi-track drums and a bass line. And you have an option when you're mixing to just mix in all the tom mics, just leave them open. Or you can deal with them with gating to eliminate the hum or the tom hum from those open mics. It's really a mixed decision. Sometimes you just leave them open, sometimes you'll isolate them. In this case, we're going to show how to isolate them, not using gating, but using uh, basic editing and the, the equivalent of inserting silence. So let's get going on this. If you look at a tom part typically, the toms don't play that often in most tunes. They play uh, during fills. For instance, if I, s I can actually see here, I'm going to solo the three toms here, and I've also panned them so that I can easily hear the different ones. So there's a tom fill. And the interesting thing is I can see the waveform so there's another one, or is it? See, that's just hum, actually. So this is just the response of the toms and, uh, from the snare hit and from the kick. Here is the real tom hits right here. So what I do to prepare a track for this sort of thing is to go and put markers where these events occur. And you can add a marker to the marker track, which is um, this one with the flag. So open the marker track, and the default key command is Y. So now we've got one there. And then I just go through the track, and there's another one. So basically just go through the track and find out where the fills are, and you can usually see them. And I did this ahead of time here. And you can also just play the track back and hit Y. There's also a way to put markers in if you have a fader port. If you hit uh, Shift, you've got some controls. The, the loop button will drop a marker in. Now, I've prepared this whole track, so I've got markers in. Now, we need to be able to navigate with markers in many editing situations like this. And it's another very handy thing with the fader port. If you hit shift, then you can flip around through the markers. Now, another thing that I've done is I've changed the key commands. The default key commands for moving through markers is holding down shift and then using N for next and B for back. And that works okay, but it's kind of a stretch with the hands. Now, if you're on a Mac keyboard, there's already fast forward rewind labels on F7 and F9. So I've remapped F7 and F9 to flip through markers because I just do this so frequently. And if I'm on a laptop and I'm not in the studio, I still want to be able to move through markers. Now, let's uh, go ahead and actually zoom in and, and do some work here. So the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm going to do kind of a rough cut on this, and again, I'm going to use the moving by markers, I'm going to group these. And you can either select them all and right click, or you can use Command G or Control G on the PC to group them. And so now I've got them grouped. Anytime I hit one, I get them all. And then I'm going to use the split tool, which is keyboard three, I want snap off because I'm just going to do this by sight. All right, so I'm going to move to each one of these markers. And so the first one, and then I'm going to put a cut right before the first, and then I'm going to listen to it, stop it, and put a cut. And by having this grouped, I'll get them all together. I'll move on to the next marker, which is here. And that's all snares. This is the real tom, so we'll cut right around there. And we don't necessarily have all the toms playing, but right now for the first pass here, we'll just treat them all as a unit. So there's a cut, we'll play it, listen. 
That there is a kick, so we'll put the cut right there. Next, I'm using F9 again. So right in here, and you can hear it goes till about there. it's right in here we'll go back that that flag is a little bit off so if I wanted to actually get that adjusted I can just drag that and um, play again in here we don't have to be super accurate on this because we're going to do another pass all right F9 and about here and here. All right, so now we've got the basic areas defined. So if I want to zoom to the whole project, I can use option Z, and that kind of zooms out to the whole project. Now we'll get uh, back here, and I'm going to now select the mute tool and go back through here and just mute out all these parts that we've separated. And you can do this by simply just sort of painting across all these areas. So this is the insert silence part of this exercise. So we haven't actually, you know, eliminated these parts, but now we've got these separated. Now, if you're not interested in having extreme precision, this is probably good enough. I'll switch back to the point tool. But I like to get it a little cleaner. If I'm in this sort of style of mixing, then I tend to get kind of a little bit more, I guess, detailed about the work. So I'm going to undo the group and then work on each of the parts a little bit separately to get a little bit more detail. So Command G, Shift Command G will undo the group. Of course, you can just right do it, right click, and do dissolve group. And I'll just click on uh, one of them here, and then I can just this. This here is not even a, a tom hit, so I can mute that one. And now you can get as detailed as you want with this editing. You can also click in here and be able to zoom in on an individual one if you want it extremely, extremely clean. See, that's not even a tom anymore. Now you could do this all with gating, but you're actually going to get much better results if you spend the time doing this type of editing, because you have no, uh, um, you have none of the effects of the gate. We've we're, we just have a straight. It's like a perfect gate because you're actually manually um, auditioning. So this is a nice time to take advantage of the edit window. And then you would just continue working your way through this again using the moving to the markers. And we'll just play the little bit. That's all the uh, low tom or the floor tom. So we can mute these two parts and go back to this tool and then uh, clean it up down here. Put a little fade on the end if you want. So anyway. That is the basic approach. Now, we'll zoom back out using Option Z to the whole project. So once you're done with all of this uh, muting, then all we have to do is hit the letter B, and it will quickly re-render this. And now we have these beautiful, clean, uh, full tracks. So anyway, that's the basic approach. I spent a lot of time on that, but basically to insert silence, do cuts, use the mute tool on the parts that you don't want in there. And then you just hit, you have to select the entire range of events that you want and then hit B and it just does them even with three tracks selected. It did them in one command in just a few seconds. So there you go. That's one approach to this particular workflow. And I hope you enjoyed this and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye-bye.